see these rather large gold bracelets, two different pairs of them, earrings, belt fittings, uh, pendant, another bracelet, and then a very beautiful comb. These are all the types of gifts that would be exchanged between individuals. Now, I have to say there are two different types of gifts, actually three in the exhibition. The first are documented gifts that come from mostly old world collections in Europe, where there's some kind of physical document that went with it, or collections in the Middle East where it remained, as in, as in Turkey, for instance. There are gift-type objects of the types we know from textual sources were given as gifts, and then there are depictions of gifts. So I have to say, everything in this case is a gift type. There is no documentation. It's very hard to find documentation for personal type. And then sometimes you'll see manuscript illustrations which depict the giving of a gift. So in this case, we have a, a Persian manuscript illustration, or and every one of these pieces belong to a Mughal emperor in India, and they would likely receive them as, as gifts. And in some cases, you have to look very closely, you can see there, there are names written. This one? This, well, this one, because it's appreciated for the pure beauty of the shape and the and so There's the no potting. significance between the ones that have the design and the ones that have No, it's a, matter of, it's a matter of personal taste. But these were appreciated for the beauty of the whiteness of the, of the glaze. The same for this beautiful yellow one as well. So we all have different tastes, because some people prefer these. And what you see here are the composite of 